Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today is the 75th commencement exercises of the grade school department of St. Paul College of Makati. This occasion marks a new chapter in our beloved children's lives, each empty page to be filled with significant learning and fond memories. This school year, our learners have experienced online distance learning firsthand. Hence, graduating is already a great feat. While we recognize the hard work of our graduating batch, we also honor in this occasion their support systems, their families, friends, and others who have journeyed with them. We have spent this school year apart from one another. Nevertheless, through the grace of God and the gift of technology, we celebrate this moment of jubilation virtually as one Polynesian family. In this spirit of unity, a video conference is also being done with the graduating batch during this live stream. I am Mr. Neo Gabriel Cagadas, your host for this morning. May I now call on Sister Esperanza Rafael Rodriguez, SPC, the school directress and principal, to open the commencement exercises. This day, the 5th of May, at St. Paul College of Makati, in the presence of the Sisters of St. Paul of Chart, the school officials of St. Paul College of Makati, guests, members of the faculty, and non-teaching staff, parents, and the candidates for graduation, the 75th commencement exercises of St. Paul College of Makati Grade School Department is now officially declared in session. To all hereby present, we extend our most cordial welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, the grade school graduates batch 2020-2021, let us give them a round of applause. Let us now welcome the SPC sisters, lay administrators, our commencement speaker, and faculty members. Please stand for the opening prayer to be led by Zoe Beatrice C. Sunglao and the singing of the Philippine National Anthem to be conducted by Audrey Kirsten D. Coronel. Let us put ourselves in the loving presence of God and adore His holy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our most loving Father, we humbly invite you to come in our midst. Be with us, quiet our minds for a few moments, so we may hear your voice. 
as we listen, send us your grace and your love. Look upon us as we gather here today to honor you and our class of 2020-2021. Today is our graduation, our completion, our passage to our new beginning, our new horizon. As we look back to six years ago from the first little steps we took Inside the halls of our dear St. Paul College of Makati, we have come to realize how big we have grown. We are grateful for all these years of experiences, hardships, triumphs, lessons, and friendships. We are filled with so many stories and memories shared within these walls. Lord, together with our parents, teachers, our school personnel, and our loving sisters of St. Paul of Chartres, we are who we are, Paulinians in mission. Our Paulinian identity has now been shaped by faith, hope, love, and the lessons we have learned. As we go further into this world in this time of pandemic, we pray for discernment, wisdom, healing, and protection for all our families, loved ones, and for those who are in need. Continue to guide us, Lord, as we face our new horizons. Keep us firmly in your love. And when challenges are upon us, increase our faith and not our fears. Allow us to walk in hope and not with our doubts. We trust in your plans to make us prosper as we pursue our dreams and our mission. All of these we ask and pray in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Mary, our mother and model, pray for us. Saint Paul, our patron, pray for us. Father Louis Chauvet and the First Sisters, intercede for us. May the love of Christ impel us, now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Please be seated. This year's commencement exercises is celebrated with the theme New Horizons, bearing the gift of Polinian identity and mission. This theme underscores the shared purpose of all Polinians, especially as we celebrate the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines to be witnesses of Christ in all circumstances. This theme is also aligned with the intended graduate outcomes for Polinians. To welcome us all to this event, may I call on Charles Julian G. Samonte. To our directors, principal, sister Esperanza, Rafael Rodriguez, SPC, dear sisters, our commencement speaker, lay administrators, faculty, staff, parents, and to my fellow graduates, a blessed morning to all of you. It is with great delight that I welcome you to the 75th Commencement Exercises of the Great School Department of St. Paul College of Mahati. This year's theme is New Horizons, Bearing the Gift of Paulinian Identity and Mission. Allow me to begin by expressing my gratitude to the sisters, our teachers, our families and friends, our classmates, and to everyone we hold dear. 
You have played a major role in shaping each of us into the person that we are today. And you have guided us along the way. For this and much more, we are grateful. This school year, we have brave into online distance learning as with anything new, we felt it out and with change came adjustments. Our days of learning transition to online classes via Google Meet. We did activities with our learning packets and did new and interesting tasks like informative or fun videos. Now, we are a year wiser, a year stronger, a year more prepared to face the challenges of tomorrow. Give yourself a pat on the back and say, Congratulations, you've done it! Let us also not forget to show our love and appreciation to our teachers, parents, family, friends, and all those who supported you on this journey. Class of 2021, our efforts have reached their fruition. Indeed, this is a day to celebrate. There's that word. Celebrate. It may not be the best word in this current situation of the world, but it is something that I know we deserve. We all know we have faced a tough year. Others suffer with losses of loved ones due to the onslaught of the COVID-19 pandemic. Even now, we're still gasping for normalcy. Through it all, we have pursued. We have shown strength and determination. These are the qualities that are immensely essential as we face a new chapter in our lives. Our academic journey in grade school is complete. Now, we take our next big step towards a secondary level. The time is now to imagine our future and the world to come, but to also give a better perspective by looking back to where we have been. May we always remember how SPCM molded us into who we are now, all the hard work we have put in, all the challenges we have overcome, and the life lessons we have learned along the way have enriched our characters and prepared us to face any battle. In my years as a Paulinian, engraved in me are the core values of hope, love, kindness, diligence, and being a firm believer of the faith. As my father before me had set an example on how to be a true Paulinian, I too will carry on the ways and strive to be the best Paulinian I can be living every day of my life as a good son, a light to others, a dependable friend, and a compassionate Christian. Let me leave you with an inspirational quote from Martin Luther King Jr. I chose this quote because it simply made an impact on me and hopefully it does the same to you. Intelligence plus character that is the goal of true education. Thank you and may God bless us all. Caritas Christi Organ Nos. Thank you, Charles. Let me now introduce to you our commencement speaker for this morning. Mr. Samuel Aguinaldo Jr. received Catholic education from basic education through college. He is a graduate of St. Paul College of Makati, Batch 2003 of the Grade School Department, where he has received an honorable mention. He spent his high school years at Pateros Catholic School, where he was recognized as Batch's second honorable mention. During his high school years, he held a leadership position in student organization and was the recipient of several awards in recognizing his leadership and accomplishments. He was the Corps Commander of PCS Corps of Cadets Class of 2007 Award and was also a Yuchenko Leadership Awardee. He took his Bachelor of Science in Chemistry at the University of Santo Tomas and received a Leadership Award for being part of USC Golden Corps of Cadets Class of 2010. He passed the Chemistry Board Examination in 2012 and the Financial Advisor Licensure Examination in 2018. 
In 2020, he became a qualifying member of the National Achievers Club. At present, he is the Assistant Unit Manager at Pro Life UK in a Field Quality Assurance Specialist at Coca-Cola Beverages Philippines Incorporated. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome our commencement speaker for the 75th commencement exercises of the grade school department, a well-rounded individual, a multi-hyphenate, and a role model who has conquered varied fields and has lived out his Polinian identity. Mr. Samuel Aguinaldo, Jr. Good day, fellow Polinians. I'm your Kuya Sam, and I'll be sharing a little bit of inspiration for you guys. But first of all, I would like to congratulate you on your graduation day. Yes, graduate na kayo, and you will be reaping the fruits of your labor for the past six years. And I also like to take this opportunity and ask you to say thank you sa inyong mga parents and sa inyong mga teachers on supporting and giving their efforts and sacrifices in your elementary days. In this time of pandemic, we adopted to a new normal. Halos lahat online na, online work, online classes, online examinations, and I know it's very difficult on your part as students na mag-adjust sa ganitong situation. Pero I know we are very resilient, tayong mga Polinians, and we will survive this pandemic and we will grow stronger. Ano ba ang mission nating mga Polinians? Diba? To proclaim Jesus Christ and spread the gospel. So paano ba natin ito magagawa? It's very simple, Polinians, students. Help other people, especially the sick and the needy. Let them know na andyan lagi si God na gumagabay sa kanila and hindi hindi sila pababayaan. There are three things that I would like to instill with you, graduates. First, know your dreams and goals. As young as you are right now, dapat alam mo na and nakamindset na sa'yo kung ano yung mga gusto mong makamit sa buhay. Gusto mo ba, mag, gusto mo ba maging isang piloto, doktor, sundalo, or isang katulad ko na chemist? Second, focus on achieving your dreams. What I mean of being focused is to give your 101% effort and work very, very hard para makamit mo yung mga gusto mo. Third, and the most important thing is always put God in the center of everything that you do. So always pray and trust the Lord sa mga tasks, sa mga challenges na kakaharapin mo sa pagkamit mo ng iyong mga pangarap. Before I end my sharing, I would like to thank my parents and my elementary teachers. These are the people na nagmold sa akin to be a good Polinian. Wala ako ngayon sa kinatatayuan ko kung hindi dahil sa kanila. Gusto ko rin pong pasalamatan ang mga sisters ng St. Paul and kay Mrs. Nieves Kalimag for giving me this opportunity to inspire you. Again, congratulations, Polinian graduates. Cherish the moment and enjoy life. Stay safe and God bless. Thank you very much, Mr. Aguinaldo. Your words are an inspiration to all of us, especially to our graduates. Allow me to read the citation for the Certificate of Appreciation to our commencement speaker. This Certificate of Appreciation is presented to Mr. Samuel Aguinaldo Jr. in grateful acknowledgement of his selfless generosity to share his time, experiences, and expertise to inspire his Copolinians as the guest speaker during the 75th commencement exercises of the grade school department with the theme, New Horizons Bearing the Gift of Polinian Identity and Mission, held on May 4, 2021, signed Sister Esperanza Rafael U. Rodriguez, SPC, Director's Principal. Once again, a round of applause to our commencement speaker, Mr. Samuel Aguinaldo, Jr. Our speaker for today was a proud cum laude of University of the Philippines Diliman campus with a degree on Bachelor of Science in Psychology.
She graduated doctor in medicine in University of the East Ramon Magsaysay Memorial Medical Center. Currently, she is affiliated with Philippine Medical Association from 2018 up to present and with Philippine Academy of Family Physicians from 2019 up to present. She is now a part-time family physician of Reassure Health Clinic at Victoria de Manila, Taft Avenue, Manila since September of 2019. Full time, she is a medical specialist too at Philippine General Hospital, Taft Avenue, Manila. In terms of her researches and publications, she had been part of conducting and accomplishing the following: one, factors associated with self-reported willingness to transfer medical care to local health centers among patients with non-communicable diseases, consulting at the UPPGH Family Medicine Clinic. Published in the Filipino Family Physician, Volume 57, Number 2, July to December of 2019. Awards received second place in oral research presentation at UP Philippine General Hospital Residence Research Forum on October 9, 2019. HRDD Training Room, Philippine General Hospital, Taft Avenue, Manila. First place in the Philippine Academy of Family Physicians Annual Research Contest held on March 9, 2019 at the PAFP 58th Anniversary and Annual Convention, Philippine International Convention Center, Manila. 2. Telemedicine in the University of the Philippines Health Service during the COVID-19 pandemic A two-week process documentation and analysis published in ACT Medica Volume 55 Number 2 in April 2021, Philippine General Hospital COVID-19 Issue. Third, summary recommendations on the use of protective equipment for healthcare personnel involved in triage and ambulatory consult of patients in COVID-19 pandemic. Published in the Filipino Family Physician Journal Volume 58 Number 1 of June 2020. Fourth, Summary Recommendations on the Various Disinfection Strategies in the Community Published in the Filipino Family Physician Volume 58, No. 1 of June 2020 With these, she has been chosen by our school as our resource speaker for today's event Let us welcome Dr. Kashmir May Barranco Engada, MD Good day everyone I am Kashmir May Engada, a St. Paul College of Mahati graduate from the year 2002. It is almost 20 years since I graduated from 6th grade and it has been a pretty interesting ride so far. And I am honored to be speaking in your presence as a fellow alumna as I was once a young and hopeful graduate just like you. I'm still hopeful but less young. But I hope that you will get something from this little speech that I prepared for you guys. I would like to congratulate all the young people who are graduating today who are celebrating the commencement of all your hard work in a rather challenging past school year of online learnings. I honestly could not imagine myself in your shoes with me being rather um, not techy as you guys are uh, currently. I would also like to honor all the parents, family members, and teachers who are the unsung heroes of this pandemic for making all this possible for making learning a priority during these hard times. I understand the challenges each of you has faced from the students, to the families, to the teachers, just participating, supporting, and conducting virtual classes in the middle of pandemic is something that is so uh, admirable and commendable. Actually, I would like to congratulate all of you, all of us actually, for just for surviving. Just being alive right now is something to celebrate. The gift of life given to us by God is something that we sometimes take for granted but can be easily taken away from just, just as fast. The pandemic has made us all aware of that. I am sure that each of our families has COVID stories to tell. Either we have suffered from it ourselves or our loved ones, close friends, people we know, uh, people we do not expect. Okay, so... Uh, another point is the economic toll is another thing. With the loss of jobs, the need for social welfare, and the need for community pantries, the freedom to move freely from one area to another is something uh, unimaginable. Okay? So 
The pandemic has also taken a toll in our mental and spiritual health. I am sure that many of us have felt sad, uh, felt scared, hopeless, anxious over the course of the pandemic. We are all grieving to get back our life as we know it. To our young graduates who have been staying at home all this time, I understand that this situation uh, is not the most ideal of times in terms of your holistic growth as children turning to adolescents and as future members of the society. In times like this, please hold on to the values imparted by our institution. The Polinian mission song is still an earworm for me, to be honest. I still find myself occasionally humming it in my head like it was just yesterday, not 20 years ago, and has helped me through tough times. My favorite part is this. I'm not going to sing it, but I'll just say it. And so each day as I travel on, I will remember that I'm a Polinian, committed to Jesus Christ, my Lord, to love and serve one another till in him we unite. This simple line, to love and serve one another till in him we unite, always reminds me that our time spent here on earth is just limited. Our lives are spent here on earth until the day that we are reunited with our creator. It's the reality. The pandemic has heightened this awareness and has brought to surface all our fears and our anxieties over our own mortality. It is really easy to back down from the challenges. I, for one, am always um, always nervous when I step in the hospital, always wondering if this is the day that I will be infected. But more often than not, fretting about an uncertain future does not help in any way. These days, my resolve is to live our lives the best way that we know how at the present moment. I try to ask myself, am I being my best self? In any given moment, am I living in a way that is pleasing to God? 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15 says, Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the, the word of truth. We can only do our best at the present moment if we love and serve one another just as Christ himself has loved and served us through his death and resurrection. With this, I implore our young graduates to love and serve one another. Today is all we have and not tomorrow because only this moment, this moment right now, is guaranteed. Express your love to your parents or family members, your support systems, your friends. Thank all of them for helping you survive all throughout these years. Express your love to your teachers for showing you unending patience and mercy. We know the Holy Spirit works through them. Extend your hand to those who are hurting, those who are sad, those who are scared. Serve the people in your own way. May it be from involving yourself in charitable works or strive to be conscious and participate in the social issues that impact our society even at a young age. Be your best self in the moment. Take care of yourself every day. Eat nutritious food. Keep active. Surround yourself with people who contribute to your well-being. Develop ways to express how you feel. Engage in activities to reduce stress. Please do not be afraid to ask for help if needed, especially if sadness or anxiety becomes overwhelming. These are the little things we know, uh, how we show our love and care for one another. These are trying times and we need all the help and support that we can get. Most importantly for me is prayer. Pray for peace, for understanding, for guidance. There are so many things in life that we have no control of. I learned the value for, of surrendering during medical training. Sometimes we do everything for our patients only to find out that they did not make it or we have lost all hope that the patient will pull through but finding out that they eventually survive. These are the little miracles that we see every day and we can only do so much but eventually everything lies in God's hands. Surrender everything to the Lord and pray that you will be receptive of his plans. Please consider yourself blessed as graduates of St. Paul College of Mahati. I am always thankful for SPCM for building in me a solid foundation of values and faith that has been unshaken through time. I hope that as you continue the rest of your journey in life, you will recall all the lessons and values that were inculcated during your years of education at St. Paul College of Mahati. Thank you and have a good day, everyone.
Thank you very much, Dr. Ingada. Your words are an inspiration to all of us, especially to our graduates. Allow me to read the citation of the Certificate of Appreciation to our commencement speaker. This Certificate of Appreciation is presented to Ms. Kashmir May B. Ingada, MD, in grateful acknowledgement of her selfless generosity to share her time, experiences, and expertise to inspire her co polinians As the guest speaker during the 75th Commencement Exercises of the Grade School Department with the theme, New Horizons Bearing the Gift of Polinian Identity and Mission, held on May 4, 2021. Signed, Sister Esperanza Rafael U. Rodriguez, SPC, our Directress Principal. Once again, a round of applause to our commencement speaker, Ms. Kashmir May B. Ingada, MD. Now, may I call on Sister Esperanza Rafael Rodriguez, SPC, for an inspirational message. My dear graduates, greetings of peace and joy. This is the much-awaited time. I congratulate each and every one of you on this remarkable achievement as graduates of St. Paul College of Makati. I have seen how hard you have worked, and now you are ready and prepared to receive a diploma, including other awards and recognition from this institution. What follows next? To move on to your high school? Everyone, especially your parents, are proud of your accomplishments, of the outstanding leadership and contributions you have provided for your school. This pandemic has been difficult, and we continuously fight to stop it and endlessly pray for the healing of those who are sick. Your resilience, courage, and engagement have brought you to this memorable time. Your graduation leads to many choice and possibilities that await you in the future. As you pursue your quest, many of you will reach the summit of your hopes and dreams. Few will stumble by the wayside, get lost or fall from dangerous cliffs of wrong decisions and missed opportunities. But whether you succeed or fail, the essence of the spiritual nurturement you have gained here in St. Paul College of Makati will suit your souls. In the meantime, my dear students, let us engineer your mind, hearts, and hands so that you can conquer this globalizing and material-oriented world. Let cutting-edge, high-technology classrooms, super-competent teachers, e-learning resources, and computer-aided education become your tools of domination. Let our patron, St. Paul, and Our Lady guide you to desire, discover, and experience the essential things that will ease and accelerate your climb to this mountain of life. You may forget your location, but always bear in mind your direction. As I have read in the Facebook, my dear Polinians, what's done is done. What's gone is gone. One of the best life lessons is learning how to let go and move on. It's okay to look back at your memories, but never let the past stop you from moving forward. Think of a more productive life. Think of a life closer to God. Think of others. They are our brothers and sisters, our responsibility. Caritas Christi, Urget Nos. Ladies and gentlemen, we now come to the graduation rites. The candidates for graduation will now be presented by Mr. Raymond Andre Samonte, the Assistant Academic Services Head, after which is the confirmation by the Directress, Sister Esperanza Rafael Rodriguez, SPC. <laughs> Sister Esperanza Rafael Rodriguez, SPC, Upon the recommendation by the faculty of the Grade School Department, Grade 6, I have the honor to present to you the 100 candidates for graduation composed of 39 male and 61 female graduates 
of the Grade School Program for the academic year 2020-2021. Confident that the years you have spent in St. Paul College of Makati have adequately equipped you with the knowledge, skills, technology, and Catholic values befitting competent graduates of Polinian institutions and assured that you have successfully completed all the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education and of St. Paul College of Makati, I, as Directress, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Department of Education and the Board of Trustees, St. Paul College of Makati, declare you graduates and confirm on you the Diploma of St. Paul College of Makati Grade School Department for the academic year 2020-2021 and enjoy the rights and privileges appertaining thereto. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. Please be seated. We will now have the distribution of diplomas to the graduates and awarding of medals and other citations to meritorious and outstanding graduates. Moreover, they who have been students of St. Paul College of Makati since preschool are given each a medal of recognition for loyalty. The class advisor shall now call the names of the graduates and awardees. To present the graduates from St. Gabriel, may we call on Ms. Marion May Toazon. Our Directress Principal, Sister Esperanza Rafael Rodriguez, SPC. Sisters, our dear speaker, administrators, teachers, parents, and guests, I have the honor to present to you the graduates and awardees of Grade 6 St. Gabriel for school year 2020-2021. Calix Dayward M. Dakut, Recognition Medal for Peace and Universal Well-Being. Thomas Jared E. David. Andrew Kenzie E. Domingo. A.J. Dominic D. Ferrer Vicente Iñaki D. Gonzalez Amiel Abram S. Honra Aaron Martin F. Fernandez Christian Jude H. Ilaya Pong G. Lau Jazz Martin B. Lopez Gian Harvey G. Mandarlipe McVernon J. Manera I Gabriel B. Miliares Charles Julian G. Samonte Recognition Medals for Mindful, Self-Directed Learner and Role Model and for Consensus, Adept Performer and Achiever Francis Andre N. Silva Recognition Medals for Consensus, Adept Performer, and Achiever, and for Peace and Universal Well-Being Timothy James B. Season Cheska Eunice A. Artuz Gabriel Jean O. Barcelona Grisea Dushka S. Brillantes 
Recognition Medal for Peace and Universal Well-Being. Rian Agatha Shay B. Cadilena. Francesca C. Capuno. Audrey Kirsten D. Coronel. Recognition medals for consensus, adept performer, and achiever, and for peace and universal well-being. Karil Ayesha P. Dionisio Maria Marcella Eliza C. Eleda Christian May P. Flores Sofia Louis Cassandra S. Grospe Leon Margaret L. Perez Eleanor Gwinnett D. Pina Denise Chiara C. Quintana Zoe Brianna R. Remaldora Candy Skate G. Rescar Mariana Angela C. Sacro Catherine Audrey D. G. San Gabriel Recognition Medals for Consensus, Adept Performer, and Achiever, and for Peace and Universal Well-Being Marian F. Serrano Zoe Beatrice C. Sunglao Recognition Medals for Mindful, Self-Directed Learner and Role Model For Consensus, Adept Performer and Achiever And for Peace and Universal Well-Being Ava Gianna S. Uy Patricia Ann M. Yap Congratulations, graduates, and to your parents. Thank you, Ms. Swazon, and congratulations, graduates. To present the graduates from St. Michael, may we call on Ms. Mary Rose Insigne. Our Directress Principal, Sister Esperanza Rafael Rodriguez, SPC. Sisters, our dear speaker, administrators, teachers, parents, and guests. I have the honor to present to you the graduates and awardees of Grade 6 St. Michael for school year 2020-2021. Carl Markson G. Arevalo. Henry William S. Baldivia Jericho S. Bernabe Enigo M. Fernandez Mark Daniel B. Mahusay
Daniel Craig T. Manalansan. Cahill Philip B. Martin. Recognition Medal for Peace and Universal Well-Being. Jeremiah Brent E. Pasqua Carlos Marco D. Ronsayo Dave Ivan M. Torres Samantha Faith O. Araza Phoebe Esther R. Barwell Sophia Irish L. Bautista Mary Breed M. Casta Jamila Moira V. Concepcion Recognition Medals for Mindful, Self-Directed Learning and Role Model for Conscientious, Adept Performer and Achiever, and for Peace and Universal Well-Being. Recognition Medals for Mindful, Self-Directed Learning and Role Model for Courageous, Resourceful Explorer and Problem Solver for Credible, Responsive Communicator and Team Player for Conscientious, Adept Performer and Achiever and for Peace and Universal Well-Being. Jireline Zofia P. De Las Reyes Recognition Medals for Conscientious, Adept Performer and Achiever, and for Peace and Universal Well-Being. Diana Caitlin T. Depo Recognition Medals for Mindful, Self-Directed Learner and Role Model, for Conscientious, Adept Performer and Achiever, and for Peace and Universal Well-Being. Janea Akisha D. Enriquez Jamela Paris H. Esquen Mary Armioni Gapis Michaela Caitlin P. Gonzaga Naila Cassandra V. Gonzalvo Recognition Medals for Mindful, Self-Directed Learner and Role Model, for Conscientious, Adept Performer and Achiever, and for Peace and Universal Well-Being. Eriko Mariana R. Lacuna Sabrina B. Laiko
Romina Zeta M. Lorenzo. Mauricia Isabel C. Martinez. Brianna Allison B. Ong. Recognition medals for mindful, self-directed learner and role model, and for peace and universal well-being. Veronica Victoria P. Ojeko Keisha Bernice A. Suma Congratulations graduates and to your parents Thank you Ms. Insigne and congratulations graduates To present the graduates from St. Rafael May we call on Mr. Gerardo Carlos Jr. Our Directors Principal, Sister Esperanza Rafael Rodriguez, SPC. Sisters, our dear speaker, administrators, teachers, parents and guests, I have the honor to present to you the graduates and awardees of Grade 6 St. Rafael for school year 2020-2021. Julian Imond F. Alvarez Jake Isaiah M. Bacusmo Justin Greco B. Baterina Dylan Inigo C. Cabral Teron Warik G. De Vela Sean Andre B. De Los Reyes Maximo Rafael C. Estrella Gabriel Sean G. Freira James Christian Mascardo Joaquin Angelo A. Padre Samuel Isaac A. Chenzo Recognition Medals for Mindful, Self-Directed Learner and Role Model and for Peace and Universal Well-Being Emmanuel Matthew V. Torrio Isabel Beatriz V. Aguidari Alexa Joyce G. Alba Recognition Medals for Mindful, Self-Directed Learner and Role Model and for Consensus Adept Performer and Achiever Sophia Ella A. Cahilo Kirsten Lay Contreras Chloe Olivia M. Conanan Marsha Antonia O. Guzman Nivia Jaden L. De Jesus Angela Dewey P. Bison Eve L. De Malanta Ayesha Caitlin R. Esguera Cassandra Agatha L. Flavier 
para Triana Sky Bigala. Dia Alexa M. Lim, Recognition Medals for Mindful, Self-Directed Learner and Role Model, for Credible Responsive Communicator and Team Player, for Consensus Adept Performer and Achiever, and for Peace and Universal Well-Being. Daniel Sofia D. Luber Freya Sofiel P. Lumakad Sofia Eunice C. Mandarlipe Jihana Cassandra Morandarte Jaisel Dion P. Teguera Maris Ivana Gramel D. Santos Zuri R. Toledo Recognition Medals for Mindful, Self-Directed Learner and Role Model For Consensus, Adept Performer and Achiever and for peace and universal well-being. Congratulations, graduates, and to your parents. Thank you, Mr. Carlos, and congratulations, graduates. The Polinian of the Year Award is given to a graduating student who embodies the Polinian core values and manifests active leadership and involvement in civic or religious projects undertaken by the school and or by the community. This student must also be actively involved in activities and competitions in and off campus and must have the commendable membership of leadership in parish or in community organizations and projects. For this academic year, the Polinian of the Year Award is given to Gabriel Julia M. De Luna. Congratulations, Gabriel Julia, and to your parents. At this juncture, let us recognize those who have been in the school's partners for a good number of years in the formation of our young Polinians. The Loyalty Award is given by the SPC Education Ministry through St. Paul College of Makati in gratitude of the parents' and guardians' continuous trust in the Polinian education. To present the Loyalty Awardees for Batch 2020 to 2021, may I call on once again the class advisors. I have the honor to present to you the Loyalty Awardees of St. Gabriel, Thomas Jared E. David, Vicente Iñaki D. Gonzalez, Jazz Martin B. Lopez, Gian Harvey G. Mandarlipe, McVernon J. Manera I, Gabriel Jean O. Barcelona, Francesca C. Capuno, Audrey Kirsten D. Coronel, Christian May P. Flores, Sofia Louis Cassandra S. Grospe,
Alianor Minet Di Pinga. Denise Piara C. Quintana. Mariana Angela C. Sacro. Congratulations, loyalty awardees, and to your parents. I have the honor to present to you the loyalty awardees of St. Michael. Jericho S. Bernabe. Enigo M. Fernandez. Cahill Philip D. Martin. Sophia Irish L. Bautista. Jamila Moira V. Concepcion. Gabriel Julia M. De Luna. Naila Cassandra V. Gonzalo. Erico Mariana R. Lacuna. Sabrina B. Taito. Mauricia Isabel C. Martinez. Brianna Allison B. O. Maria Veronica Victoria P. O. Keke. Keisha Bernice A. Snow. Congratulations, loyalty awardees, and to your parents. I have the honor to present to you the loyalty awardees of St. Raphael. Samuel Isaac A. Chenzo. Kirsten Leigh Contreras. Ayesha Caitlin R. Esguera. Cassandra Agatha L. Flavier Freya Sofia L. P. Lumacad Sofia Eunice Mandarlipe Jaisel Theon P. Reguera Zuri R. Toledo Congratulations, loyalty awardees, and to your parents. To express words of gratitude on behalf of this year's graduating batch, let us welcome Gabriel Julia M. De Luna. To our dear school director's principal, Sister Esperanza Rafael Rodriguez, SPC, SPC Sisters, our distinguished guest speaker, school administrators and staff, teachers, parents, friends, and my dear co-graduates, a very pleasant day and peace be with you. Some of us started our life here in St. Paul College of Makati as early as nursery or kinder. For some, they joined as first graders. That time, we entered the SPC and gates with different feelings. Some were nervous, there were some who were excited, but for sure, there were also some who were crying, not letting go of their mom's hands. We were so young and innocent back then. Time moved swiftly onward, and now we are on our grade school graduation. Today marks a very important event in our lives, as we accomplish grade school and take on our first step to our next journey, high school. However, the situation that we and the whole world are in at present 
makes this moment a more memorable part of history because this crisis brought out a lot of greatness in each one of us. We are the first batch who went through the entire school year under the new normal of learning, which made us feel afraid and worried. I'm sure our parents felt more anxious in us. They were thinking, are we really going to learn? Will this be effective? Our teachers might have also had the same feeling. Not to mention the internet connection problems and the camera and microphone glitches that add up to the stress. Nevertheless, here we are, wearing our togas, done with all the home based tasks, performance tasks, and every single task which had been required from us. We were able to face and win over all the challenges with the realization that we, SPCM's Grade 6 Batch 2020 2021, are strong, diligent, and adaptable. The new normal is far from easy, especially in the beginning, but we were able to cope with the big change. That brings us back to the word I have mentioned earlier, greatness. Greatness is a concept of a state of superiority or a natural ability to be better than others. For me, during these tough times, greatness is the ability to conquer obstacles and be above all the challenges, and all of us were able to do that. As I was preparing for these words of gratitude to the people who have helped us, again, I felt different kinds of emotions. At first, I was happy and excited that finally, we are done with grade school and we are very much looking forward to our vacation. Second, I felt a little bit scared, and with this one, I think most of us, if not all of us, my dear co-graduates, share the same feeling. We are afraid or edgy because we're entering high school. It's another chapter, and anything new and unfamiliar makes us feel uneasy. However, as I voiced this out to my parents and heard their encouraging words, I was reminded that in all the difficulties that we've been through, as little as we were in kinder, right up to this moment, we were able to win over those difficulties because there are a lot of people who have helped us along the way. This brought me to my third emotion, which was a deep sense of gratitude. I am certain that all of us graduates are one in this feeling. All of us know that we will not be here. We will not be winners. We will not be overcomers. If not for these blessings, the people around us. The new normal that we all dealt with as students during this school year brought out so much greatness in them as well, and they did what they needed to do out of love for us. On behalf of the grade school graduating class 2021, I would like to express our profound gratitude, first and above all, to our generous and loving God. Thank you, Father God, for providing us with all the means to finish our grade school despite any situation we may be in. For the guidance, courage, and strength you are continuously giving us. For constantly watching over us. Thank you. Thank you for allowing us to face challenges because you know that we will not grow when things are easy. We offer back to you all that we have accomplished and achieved. Without you, we are nothing. Thank you, Father God, for your great love for us. You are indeed our great and loving Father. To our beloved parents and guardians who have shed their blood, sweat, and tears just to give us all the best we could ever have, thank you very much. You are the heroes behind our triumphs. The love and support you have bestowed upon us since we were born are the foundation of our values and character. Many thanks to our dear parents for being our first teachers, from teaching us the basic things as in how to walk and talk, up to big things as in believing in ourselves and achieving our dreams. Please allow me to say thank you to my parents for all the love and support they have given me throughout the school year. The two of you are always there for me and do encourage me to do my best every day. Mom, I'd like to thank you for always guiding me, especially when I didn't know how to solve my problems. You were always patient with me, and your confidence in my abilities is what led me to work hard in all my tasks. Dad, thank you so much for cheering me up when I'm down and making me laugh when I'm stressed. You teach me with experience and make me more independent. 
I know now that I will never have to fear the unknown, be it school or the virus, because the two of you will always be by my side. I'd also like to thank my Lola, Lolo, and Tita for all the love and support. You are the best. Once again, to all our loving parents, thank you for the hard work and sacrifices and for giving us better than your best, especially during these trying times. Our heartfelt appreciation and gratitude to you. You are greatness in the flesh. We love you all so much. Our sincere and deepest thanks also to our teachers. You, our dear teachers, have been considerate, patient, and understanding with us. You have given us one precious gift, which is time. Thank you for your sleepless nights preparing our lessons and checking our tasks. Thank you for tirelessly reminding us to submit our requirements, not just because you wanted us to graduate, but also that we may learn. We know that was your driving force throughout this challenging school year. You will teach, and we will learn. For all your effort, perseverance, and determination to learn new things just so that you can teach us well despite of our new setting, thank you for believing in us, for not giving up on each one of us, and for being our second parents, we offer our sincerest gratitude. We will always remember and cherish you. Thank you for being great teachers and for doing great things for us. To our dear sisters, school administrators, and all the school staff, thank you for your concerted effort in making us feel as if we are physically present within the school grounds of SPCM through our online class. You made it possible for us to continue learning in the safety of our homes and to even have our acquaintance and Christmas parties online. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to listen and participate in the LEAD and PRISM sessions. Most importantly, we were still able to hear Mass together like before when we were at school. Our big thanks to you for planning and doing all of this for us. Thank you for your greatness. We are also very thankful to our dear classmates and friends. We have been together since we were young and we practically grew up together just like brothers and sisters. We have worked and played together, danced in the plaza together during our field demos, spent a whole lot of fun in the rides during our St. Paul's week, cooperated and supported each other in group tasks, and shared meals during our break times. Even if we were not physically there for each other during this school year, we still had each other's backs and supported each other during tough times. Thanks a lot for we have shared our joys and tears with one another. Thank you for the friendship and for being the best friends and classmates we could ever ask for. Let this just be a beginning of our thanksgiving to all of you. May God give us the grace that we may express our thankfulness to all of them by continuously chasing after our dreams. May the love and support of all those we have thanked now be our strength so that we may not be troubled of the uncertain and the new. We are here now. Therefore, we are ready. Greatness is for everyone who has the courage to find it within themselves. So we have no reason to be afraid. Let me end by sharing with you three verses coming from the letters of St. Paul. First, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. From Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Second, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. From Romans chapter 15, verse 13. And the last one, my favorite, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. From Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. Let these words be our guiding light as we continue to journey this life with one another. Caritas Christi Urgent Nos. Thank you very much, Gabriel Julia, for your heartwarming message. For the coming academic year, St. Paul College of Makati will be implementing the Home-Based Engagements and Alternative Learning Program, or the HEAL Program. This is the school's response to ensure that education continues despite the pandemic. The HEAL program features adjustments to the curriculum and other educational services of the school. Enrollment is ongoing. For more information, you may download the primer from the school's official website 
or from the school's official Facebook page. You may also reach us through sending an email to guidance services at spcmakati.edu.ph or by calling us at 8896-8369 or 8899-3256. On behalf of everyone tuning in, allow me to thank those who have made the commencement exercises possible. Sister Esperanza Rafael Rodriguez, SPC, Mr. Raymond Andre Samonte, the middle managers, grade 6 advisors, the registrar's office, staff and personnel, and most specially to our dear pupils and parents. Let us also acknowledge the loving efforts of the members of the Physical Setup Committee, especially to Mr. June Aureus for our superb stage design, and our technical support headed by Mr. Marlon Castillo. Let us give everyone a resounding applause. Our dear graduates, St. Paul College of Makati thanks you and your parents and benefactors for choosing this institution to be your place of formation. We now set you off with the hopes that you shall return with so much pride and honor in success. Please stand now for your pledge of loyalty to be led by Zuri R. Toledo. Pledge of Loyalty we solemnly pledge to keep alive our love and loyalty to our dear alma mater, St. Paul College of Makati, to prove ourselves worthy of the ideals of a Christ-centered, integrated, and socially responsive person, to be true Polinians always with the charity of Christ for our fellow men and women, our country and our God. For the induction of the graduates to the SPCM Alumni Association, may we call on Ms. Maria Teresa C. Tagunicar, SPCM Alumni Association President. Induction of the graduates to the SPCM Alumni Association. Graduates, please answer I do to the questions I shall ask of you. Do you acknowledge the value benefits of the education, physical, intellectual, and spiritual, which I have received at St. Paul College of Makati? Do you sincerely desire to uphold the principles of the education you have received? Do you promise to lead decent, honest, exemplary lives at home, in school, in the church, and in society? Do you resolve to remain united with the Paulinian spirit of this institution? Do you therefore want to become active members of the Alumni Association of St. Paul College of Makati? Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. Upon my word of honor, I, please state your name, hereby resolve to do my duty as a worthy member of the Alumni Association of St. Paul College of Makati in accordance with the constitution of the association. So help me God. Please stand for the closing prayer to be led by Diana Caitlin T. D. Po and the Polinian hymn to be conducted by Dia Alexa M. Lin. Please all rise. Let us be aware of Christ's presence in our hearts and adore His holy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty Father, thank you for helping us reach this great milestone. Thank you for making our graduation ceremony successful and meaningful. Bless us graduates, dear Father. Give us courage and direct our steps toward the right path. May we continue to honor your name as we strive towards excellence in all we do. Bless our parents and family for their continuous guidance to shape us to become productive children of God, and for their unconditional support to help us achieve our goals. Bless our teachers for their perseverance during this pandemic to overcome challenges of online teaching to keep us moving forward. Bless the SBCM sisters and administrators for leading our school to an effective transition to online learning and for their continuous effort to ensure the safety and well-being of all students, teachers, staff, and personnel. Almighty Father, keep us all in your love and protection. Keep us safe and in good health. 
as we prepare for new challenges ahead. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Mary, our mother and mother, pray for us. St. Paul, our patron, pray for us. Father Luis Jove and First Sisters, intercede for us. May the love of Christ compel us, now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To Batch 2021 and their parents, congratulations to all of you. Once again, may I call on Sister Esperanza Rafael Rodriguez, SPC, to close the commencement exercises. I, Sister Esperanza Rafael Rodriguez, SPC, the Directress, now declaring St. Paul College of Makati Grade School Department 75th Commencement Exercises 2021 closed. That concludes this morning's event. We would like to thank our dear parents and guests for your continuous support to the school's endeavors and celebrating this joyous event with us. Dear graduates, may you continue to grow as true-spirited Polonian. Caritas Christi Urget Nos.
taong biyaya. Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punya. Misyon, kaloob sa aming puso. Aming sarili ay aming handog. Laging tapat at laging tugon. Naririto, handa kami, Panginoon. Ang dako, hatid ang iyong salita at paglilingkod. Inang Maria, ang siyang gabay namit tugod, lalaganap alab ng iyong misyon. Inang taong taong biyaya, salamat sa iyong punya. Misyon, kaluhog sa aming puso, aming sarili ay aming hando, laging tapat at laging tugon, naririto handa kami, Panginoon. Ang mga kaluhog na aming alay sa mundo, Katarungan, kabanalan, kapayapaan Sa senyal na ito, maniniwala ang mundo Pagmamahal namin sa bawat tao Tapat at laging tukon Narinito handa kami
Whether we've known each other our whole life, or just a year or two. And I'm crazy.